Hello. Welcome, welcome. My name is Obinapo. Welcome. I um, want to share with you today um, uh, entrepreneurship education and uh, very simple yet a bit compl complicated and uh, hopefully somebody will uh, learn something and apply it. The reason I do this uh, Facebook live uh, videos is that at least one person I'm not looking for 20 or 2,000 per se. At least every time I'm looking for one person or somebody who uh, uh, wants to be challenged, who wants to take it, things in, in their own hands and, and build from where they are. If you look at our, our setup, if you look at our educational setup, if you look at um, our, our cultural setup, you see that we are not uh, trained. It's not designed, you know, a lot of this education or even the society, it's not really designed to, to train entrepreneurs. I think that the whole structure, the trainings that we have been given were designed to actually uh, uh, make us look for help all the time and look for job all the time and wait for somebody uh, to give us employment. And... Um, because that has been the main, the main, the main focus of what they have given us that they call education. Uh, you may have to re-educate yourself if you are thinking of becoming an entrepreneur or if you're an entrepreneur, you must have, you must uh, look at a way of educating yourself because the, the training that they have given you uh, has very little to do with the kind of education the kind of mindset, the kind of personality or the kind of person that you have to become in order to be an entrepreneur in this kind of environment, you know. So uh, I'm not saying that any country trains their people to become entrepreneurs. I, mean, I don't know much, but I'm talking of the one that I know. And usually the books that we read, the videos that we watch, the people who teach us on entrepreneurship, uh, majority of them, if you go through our street, the, the books are coming from countries where I dare say that if most of the people who started businesses in these countries were to come here, like Ghana, Africa, and were to start their own businesses, I think that most of them uh, will struggle a lot. And maybe most of them will not even have had the successes that uh, they are enjoying so much you know, in the countries that they are, because I think uh, there is a whole difference between trying to build a business in a, in a culture, in, a, in an economy that is evolving and in well-developed economy. You know, the, 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 the difficulties are, are enormous even in well-developed economies. So in the ones that you are evolving, you know, you cannot take the education from the one or the information from the one that uh, has evolved and try to come here and say that you want to become an entrepreneur with those kind of motivations. You need, you need rare information that works. And so my name is Obin Alcom. We are talking about uh, entrepreneurship education. If you look around, you see that most young boys, um, not only on our continent, are occupied with, you know, they are challenging things. They are challenging things that they've been taught. They're challenging the education that they've been given. They're challenging the, the ideas that have been pushed to them. They are challenging the, the script that have been given to them, you know, go and look for a job, go uh, become a, a one of, you know, the things that they push you to become out of school and then you find a nice job and do. Most people now are challenging all those thoughts. Now, the thing is that we, a lot of our youth are not challenging those things. A lot of our youth are still, even though they look young, but the strength of their mind uh, it seems to me that, uh, 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 you know, they're just thinking like the people who came before them, at least when it comes to jobs and when it comes to uh, entrepreneurship. You know, most of the things that uh, most of these youth have occupied with, uh, you know, 
entertainment they are occupied with uh, a lot of politics they are occupied with a lot of religiosity you know things like that majority of our people are not occupied with okay let me think of building uh, especially the ones that are coming out of our college or universities uh, they are not thinking of okay what can i do to to, to make it to produce something what can i do to build a business no they are not thinking like that at all majority of us are waiting for help especially when they have a certificate and the reality is that economies that create a lot of jobs that have been able to reduce the percentage of unemployment are economies that have been built and built well you know so if you, unless you are going to travel if you are going to live here it's likely that a lot a lot of you a lot of us would have to find to do something and i think that entrepreneurship is one of those things that will help a lot of us to find uh, our our lives and now for me is the best nothing comes close to it if no matter the challenges no matter difficulties no matter all those things that come up with that come i think entrepreneurship is still one of the best ways that any ambitious person anybody who wants to leverage their talent who want to do who want to do a lot with your lives this thing that they call entrepreneurship will help you the only thing is that if you have not been somebody who are you know if you've not been educating yourself if you've not been reading outside your course if you've not been reading outside the media if you've not been reading out outside the common knowledge the common information in the atmosphere then it will seem like it's very difficult which may not be so human beings live their persuasions and our persuasions are coming from the environment the things that trained us the things that developed us you know so your convictions are just coming from those things and so your conviction your thinking on what it takes and what it means to build a business what it means to do something for yourself uh may be affected by the people who train you <laughs> so uh let's talk about that and so um educate yourself as an entrepreneur entrepreneurship education it is a different form of education it is rough stuff and um, it is almost squarely opposite to that which uh, you were taught from primary school to all the schools that you have gone to um, if you look at it the schools were designed to just feed industries you know they train us to feed industries so you're a doctor you go and work for somebody's hospital or government hospital if you're a lawyer, you wait for the businessman to call you to go and represent them in court or represent the government. If you're a carpenter, you work in that industry. If you're an artisan, that's, that's, that's why when they are training you in school, they hardly will give you the courses that to make you composite, you know, that to make you whole so that you'll be able to apply um, the, the very things that you need as an entrepreneur. Let's say you train as an engineer. What prevented them to have added courses like, say, uh, graphic design or, or accounting or practical management courses to engineering? What prevented them from doing that? Maybe a little bit psychology. What prevented them? Even if they were not going to allow us to write exams on them. What prevented them from adding some bit of mathematics? That will equip somebody who is doing social science, social science for instance, to start a business. What prevented them from adding maybe graphic design or web design? Something, something technology, something accounting. The things that businesses or entrepreneurs need to, to have a little bit uh, advantage, you know, in being able to survive as an, as an entrepreneur. Because when you start as an entrepreneur, the things of business, you know, the accounting, the packaging in terms of uh, how you present the business, the things that you have to understand in terms of the setup of the business, whether it's an enterprise, whether it's a company, whether it's a partnership, those things. Uh, how to lead people, how to become a leader of a business, how to structure and set goals. Those things, why didn't they add them to? Because they separated them. For me, they appear like, no, if you put everything together for these guys, then, they, they, then we will not need them. And so for me, that's why the, the, the design, the design, the design that they gave us, that's why they appeared to me. They appeared to me like they had to just divide the whole, you know, so that by the time you're through as a lawyer, 
you just know a bit of you know small portion of business yet business needs processes needs a product needs a team needs somebody to lead the business why didn't they teach almost everybody so that by the time that they come out of these schools at least maybe 40 50 70 percent will be able to have proper proper information as to what it takes for them to build something on your own no we didn't do that i remember the course that we did engineering uh, graphic design nothing like that accounting and those things nothing like that so most engineers if they if you if you know them if you see an engineer talking like liability asset equity uh, statement of you know those things that the accountants know most engineers would never have a, an idea you don't have to master these courses but at least you should be able to understand the language and unfortunately that's not what uh, the training uh, that we had uh, gave us and so you have to educate yourself you have to train yourself you have to equip yourself with information you have to equip yourself with knowledge if you are going to take this part if you're going to take this part so if you rely on the one that they gave you then uh, you are going to take a whole lot of time and that's why for me most people appear to be uh, afraid or scared when trying to launch out and majority of these african youth until they are given the right kind of information it will be very difficult for most of them to ever die ever 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 try to build something because the, the, don't forget mindset is what controls the human being you're thinking the way you look at life is what controls your life the way i look like i look at life is what controls my life so really the world is not as it is per se the world is as it is based on what you see the world to be you know and it coming they are coming from the knowledge they're coming from the understanding they're coming from the uh the education that we have had and so if the education is uh, a bit limiting then a lot of the things that you're going to do will be limited unless you chance on something that starts to question that starts to help you to question a lot of the data that we have given you know, so if you're going to build a business then you have got to start to at least educate yourself and educate yourself uh, well and it will mean that if you have to go and take some courses go and take some courses if you have to use a lot of your private time to study you have to use your private time to study especially those who, who are between uh, maybe 10 to 25 you have a fair uh, opportunity to educate yourself to build yourself so that the future that you, you cannot wait and say that no it doesn't matter once i become a lawyer once i become an engineer everything will be fine unless you work for the government eh? <laughs> a lot of us are going to fight for even jobs unless and the government cannot employ everybody don't forget not the not the no 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 not, not the one that we have here and even if you have a job Having a job, the, the, the education to get a job, and the education or the skill set that you need to create uh, at least a worthy income, uh, revenue, finances, they are different. If you look at the world now, the world really fair, fair in, in terms of fairness, they, they pay you based on your productivity. If somebody opens a business and puts you there, he's not going to pay you because you have the grizzle. If you Push, if the person puts you there and you don't perform, or you, or you don't have the skill set to get the, 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 the results that the, that person needs, that person will, 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 will let you go. So what is important is the so-called education that you have had. Do you have a necessary skill set to be productive? And one of those things that I think will help you, no matter what course you're doing in school, because at a point in time, they say that every one of us will work for ourselves and so the skill set if i were to start again i will probably use a lot of time to learn something about graphic design the world is now media whether you like it or not social media is everywhere packaging how you can present your business even if it's watching that you're you're, you're you're selling it's so easy if you have this kind of skill the way you can edit pictures make them nice package them well it's something that you can easily uh, launch anything you don't even have to have a product it could be somebody this product but if you if you if you can start with a little graphic design uh, skill you'll be you'll be ahead of a lot of people the other one is maybe web design if you're able to de design a website and put your business there or maybe even how to design you know e-commerce site something like that can easily do a lot for for you 
Another thing that you may have to look at and probably educate your savvy will be, let's say, accounting, you know, things like the, the, the way you manage the finances of the business that you, you are starting. Because for it is going to be a very long time, maybe two, three, four, five years, until the business is able to set well and pick somebody to pay, or you, you may be able to do a lot, you should be able to do a lot of those businesses yourself. And those activities yourself, the, the, how, man, how much money is coming to your business, how much money is going out of your business, being able to understand if they put a financial statement there, are you able to analyze it, are you able to make sense out of it, or you, do, when they publish at the end of the year, when most businesses publish their financials in the newspaper, do you look at it, and when you look at it, does it make sense to you? It should not just be the accounting people, once you're an entrepreneur, there's a bit of everything that you must know about business. You cannot, you see that you can specialize when you work for somebody. You can say that, oh, me, I just work with engines and no problem. But the business has a lot of areas. And if you are the one who, uh, if you are the one who would want to start a business, if you are, if you started a business, there are things that you must know right from the day, right from the one, a little bit of everything. And so you are going to do a lot of things like, you know, finance, accounting. You have to, and quality of the decisions that we are going to make. They are going to come from the kind of foundation that we have had in terms of the things that are very uh, pertinent to the business that you're building you know so what have you read the taxes if they if, the, if you go to the tax office or if you if you if you hear the tax things that they talk about do they make any sense to you or say that me i don't want to hear anything about it because it is life and death to your business <laughs> so if you hear the things that they say all the statutory uh, requirements even if you compare them you must you must be familiar with the terms that they use you should be able to understand the things that they say and that will call for a lot of uh, education for yourself you know so if you and unfortunately unless you studied accounting or things you know you may not be familiar with any of these things at all and that makes it a bit uh, tough unless you're coming from maybe a family where uh, they were doing business and even most of the the people that you say have been doing business have not been doing business that you know that they are building structure they are building system that the business can become anything majority of them just did the trading you know so we trade we sell something we get money and we pocket it or we build a house or buy a car with that and most of us call that as business but if you don't have a lot or if you don't know much about some of these things, then it will be very difficult for you to build uh, a company that you can employ people to handle all the activities. You know, so entrepreneurship education is is, is key. If the, the more you know, the more the better you can do. If you don't know much about these things, you are not going to do much, and that's where the struggles will be. That's where the difficulties will be. Yes, there are a lot of difficulties. You accept that. But the more, if you are, if you if you start with better knowledge, you'll be able to um, maybe 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 survive. Because for the first ten years, if thousand companies started, maybe just about maybe twenty will survive. <laughs> and it's not because uh, yes, it's difficult, but it's also because of the the skill set, the education, the knowledge that those who started the business, you know, had. Those are more responsible for the failure rate of, of first-time businesses than any other. Yes, there are, you know, even if the environment is tough, even if the business environment is tough, even if the economy is tough, it, those who are skilled, those who know what they're doing, are able to maneuver their way through the system to, you know, to without the, the, the difficulties. But if you're green, if you don't know, then you will have to trade the, the, the business for knowledge. <laughs> And so, um, and so you have to know much and uh, you have to educate yourself on a, as an entrepreneur. It's a different form of education. It's not the one that they train you, that you have to write exam and speak good English. You know, because we, we as a people are still hooked up to academic education. And most of us think that that is the only thing that is needed for success. Majority of our people think that you know, academic education is what is needed. You have to go. So even if they have the first certificate and they have not done anything with it, they still want to go for the second certificate. They still want to go for the fourth certificate. Why? Because for us, 
That's the only education that most of us know. We don't know that there are so many other kinds of education and entrepreneurship really is an education. And it's, for me, it's the most fantastic form of education because you get to build uh, the system yourself and you get to prove yourself. And if the chance, if you succeed, uh, you have a business that maybe will employ some people and maybe even create some wealth uh, for you. And we so need it for our young people to think because you cannot have a continent that is going to be competitive if the young people are not competing in terms of industry, in terms of commerce, in terms of entrepreneurship. If you are not competing like that, if they are playing the World Cup and they call Africa, they are going for the Olympic Games, they call Africa. But when they are competing on technology and product development and innovation, they are not calling us like that. Uh, and we should be. We should not be proud of that. When it comes to technology, when it comes to products, when it comes to industries, I think that the poor countries productivity should be so much higher than the entertainment, than the than the fun, than the comedy. Because that's the only way that countries will develop. You know, and no country is going to develop when the productivity is low. And if you look at free market economy, like ours, they say that ours is a bit free. I don't know. If it's like that, it means that the people like yourself, the people like myself, the more we have a lot of people like that who are trying ideas, who are trying to develop businesses, who are who are trying to build something to employ two, three, four, twenty thousand people, the better our chance of us creating uh, wealth and prosperity and employment and opportunities uh, for our people. So entrepreneurship education is key. We cannot have all uh, all of us looking for employment. We cannot have all of us looking to become politicians and, and, and preachers. We cannot have all of us looking out to become chiefs and uh, generalists and, and, and things like that. A lot of us must also add this kind of education to the one that we had and look at what opportunity that we can build ourselves. And so if you're already doing that, uh, know that it's a different kind of education. You have to build yourself. You, can have, you have to really think differently. And uh, you have to see it as a tool that uh, can create prosperity for yourself. And um, as a matter of fact, the best tool if you are adding character uh, to great wealth. And, but it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time. And um, you have to create your own environment. You have to create your own network. You have to become a person who is studious, committed, diligent to goals. You are committed to productivity. You are not the one putting things and saying, I'll come and do it tomorrow, I'll come and do it tomorrow. The opinions of others cannot distract you like that because entrepreneurship education is different. You know, So if you are the kind of person who thinks of what others are thinking every day, uh, you have to re-engineer your thought pattern. Entrepreneurship education or entrepreneurship itself is a mindset. The people who, who uh, live as entrepreneurs, their mindset is different from the other ones who even head top corporate organizations. For instance, somebody is a top CEO of a company that he's not, he did not start. That, com that person, even though that person is a business person, is a business executive, is a company executive, but the same person thinks like he's an employee. You cannot start a business. You cannot be an entrepreneur and have that kind of mindset where you're looking for uh, comfort and uh, your risk averse and you're thinking of what people think. The strength to start a business with an idea is so much different from the strength to carry a business that has been built already. You know, that's why most people cannot go through that because it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of doubt, constant self-doubt, mistakes, a lot of pain, a lot of challenges to keep going. But if you have, if you educate yourself, if you develop yourself, if you set yourself to be say that this is what I want to do, you'll be you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And it's a constant life of learning all the time. You have to develop yourself all the time. So entrepreneurship education is different. You cannot think like everybody else. You must develop yourself constantly and you must look at the skill set that you need. The kind of course if you're in college and you're thinking of entrepreneurship, which I think you should be thinking about anyway, because by the time you finish, you'll be competing with about 400,000, 500,000 graduates if you don't know. And it doesn't matter whether you're a doctor or a lawyer, it doesn't matter. You'll still be competing with graduates, okay? 
that. So once you're going to compete with that, why don't you get, why don't you use your free time in school to try something, to get information in areas that will help you to start something. And I, I say that if you can spend some time, learn how to develop a website, learn how to set up an e-commerce site, you know, become very good with social media things. Um, if you can learn, if you can read about accounting and sales, selling, 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 what is it that you can sell? Do you have, do you know enough? Do you have enough ability? Have you, have you tooled yourself uh, to be able to convince people and, uh, and present your ideas to people and be ready to be challenged and criticize and still get yourself stabilized and push your agenda? Can you convince people to be part of that, that thing that you're building? Do you, have you worked on it? Are you working on that? If you're not, it will be very difficult to come out and say that you want to start a business. Or if you have started, it will be very difficult for you to stay because you should have that maturity, that skill set to keep pushing yourself before uh, until that business that you say you are building starts to make sense. You know, so you cannot think like that. If you meet 100 people, two, three, four, five of them have this kind of mindset. You know, most people just looking for a job. Most people are just looking for a house and a car and marry, you know, and, and director of public institution. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're, an, if you're an entrepreneur, education must be different. And we are saying that that kind of education is not coming from the classroom. Even if you see them with MBA entrepreneurship, what they did was that they studied people who did business. They, they, they just analyzed the data. The MBA or the PhD entrepreneurship is not supposed to equip you to become an entrepreneur. It was supposed to just give you data of the kind of journey that those who built businesses went through. Other than that, the lecture was teaching the MBA in entrepreneurship or the PhD entrepreneurship or first degree entrepreneurship. Should be having a lot of businesses, you know, because he has done that. But he is able to give you, he's academic, he's a researcher, he's able to give you. Uh, some kind of data which will help you, but the strength, the courage, the field strength, uh, you know, has to come from yourself and it comes from doing. And the more you equip yourself, the better for you. So we are looking for few people who think like that. We are not looking for everybody who can think like that. We are looking for entrepreneurs. We are looking for people who want to be achievers. We are looking for people who want to push themselves. We are, we are, not, we are looking for people who are not waiting for help. We are looking for people who can look around the environment and create something out of it. We're not looking for somebody who's looking for somebody to say that come and help me please i need help and we're not looking for those kind of people entrepreneurship uh, if you develop yourself if you get the right kind of education as entrepreneur everywhere that they place you you will see an opportunity you see an opportunity you will be you will always be able to start something you will be able to push yourself because that's it's an education an education is a constructive effort to get how things are done with some kind of information it's a constructive it's a deliberate it's intentional effort this is an intentional activity you know and so when you are studying and you're building yourself as, as an entrepreneur and you're educating yourself as an entrepreneur you're doing that with, with focus you know you have to sit down and say that this is what i need this is what i need this is what i need and you equip yourself like that and it doesn't matter what course if you don't start to know the areas that you don't know you start to know okay this area i don't know this subject i don't know and the key ones will be the finance the accounting Financial knowledge is very key. Maybe the area, the maybe, maybe, maybe the product that you want to introduce or the service. How much do you know about it? If you don't know much about it, you have to go and learn it. The industry that you're in, you have to learn it. You have to learn it because your success will depend on that kind of education of giving yourself. The selling, can you push yourself when everybody is laughing at you? Can you go and sell it to the market, stand on the street where Chalawati, nobody, you, if you're demanding respect, you can do it <laughs> if you're looking for everybody to respect you and you are the one ready to tell people that me i've gone to school you know you know you all you you almost have to be crazy and that's the kind of mindset that you must have you cannot be so much sensitive to every every opposition and every negativity from everybody yes when you're when you're if you're an entrepreneur no you cannot it does not mean you are disrespectful but you create your own kind of 
world in your mind you know so you're talking to people you, you you ask questions you get feedback but at the end of the day you have to make a decision and you have to know these are the people that i have to move with this is the subject that i have to study this is where i want to take myself you have to do these things intentionally and unfortunately when they come out out of this so-called school <laughs> they believe so much that they know something that it's not when it comes to entrepreneurship it's not that's why majority of our people are still looking for you know help government job corporate job multinational job and they can be at home for the next five years six years ten years why because they have not considered this kind of education for me even if you're not thinking of entrepreneurship go and get some skills that you can live with without even building a business there are a lot of things you can do a lot of young guys now who are selling a lot of things on Facebook. They just know. They just know that they can call somebody. They can convince somebody. They can. They know where to pick that item. Take a picture of it. I take the picture. Put it on their social media. Send them WhatsApp, and they are making revenue out of it. That's a good start. There are people with big degrees who have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> how to do this which means that they have skills to be um, they have the skills to be employed and be paid monthly salary but they don't have the skill to create their own income and and that's where it starts you must also you must be looking at what skill set can i develop to create my own income even if i don't want to build a business and, and obviously it will start from there actually it will start at that thing that you're doing that people are trying to pay you before you see it, it has become a business. But you can, you, you, you have to think differently. You have to think beyond. And that's why I, I, I challenge that if you are learning things, digital marketing, social media, you learn about psychology, no matter what course you're doing in school, buy books. I remember when we were in the first year or something like that, management books. But because the kind of course that we did, no management or even the management was calculation. <laughs> so, management was calculation or it was mass. So how can you come and manage anything? So you have to educate yourself. That's why you have to malleable. You have to be flexible. You have to know because it takes human skill. Your ability to connect with people and convince people is a major skill as an entrepreneur. If you so much think straight as a technical, technical, technical person, you cannot lead. And if you cannot lead, you cannot build a business. You know, so those are the courses that you may. And unfortunately, the other guy with those courses too, don't, they don't also have the other things that are needed because they really, I think if you look at the educational structure, that was a deliberate attempt to just give you, give us a little portion of something. It was not composite, you know, it was not a whole, it's not complete, you know. And so you have to sit down and design the courses that you will need for you to have this kind of entrepreneurship education. And I say that you sit down. I mean, any business person that you talk to, they will tell you the things that uh, the kind of required skills that you will need. You know, if you want, if you want to build a restaurant, you know that the skill set that you need to build a restaurant is different from the skill set that you will need to know how to prepare soup. You know, the same way. you can know the skills to prepare soup is different from the skill to build a restaurant. If you're building a restaurant, it has to be a company name. It has to be um, your ability to raise capital. You have to know how to set up the restaurant. You have to understand what your customers want, what kind of food do they want, what time. You have to be able to manage the people that you are going to work with. You have to be able to manage the finances. You have to be able to understand that these people, the government people will come, even though they didn't give you money, they will come and look for you. So they come and pay this, come and pay that. You have to be able, the first few years, you should be able to do your own finance management, you know, accounting. These are all skill sets that you need to think like an entrepreneur. If the company is set and they just call you to come and lead, by the time you go there, everything is set, you just lead. But if you are the one building it, you will need a lot of these things to build. And wherever that you fall short, those are the areas that you break you. Those are the areas that you bring you down. Or those are the areas that you make you struggle for years. And that's why they say that a lot of companies uh, break down and struggle because a lot of us did not pay attention to these things when we were training and, and growing ourselves. So, entrepreneurship education. It's key. It's key to uh, uh, what you can you can build, and 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 it's it's you. I mean, if you're a young guy, steady. Even if you're in school, even if the, the you are not going to write exam on it, instead of you going to sleep, 
go to the department that is teaching graphic design go to the department that is teaching teaching um, editing or management go there once a while if you are free just sit down listen to them you hear something buy books read them study because the more you know the better you will do as an entrepreneur or you'll be so much limited you'll be so much limited and then you come out and complain and say that there are no opportunities it's not that there are no opportunities it's because you did not sit down to study you did not the the, the, the critical things that you will need to study you did not pay attention to them and that's what i see about a lot of our, our people in 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 our country now they pay attention to information that will not help them they, they acquire information but they don't become better they just master 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 things so when you're going to do business study this study this no matter the course even if you're if you're medical you know, even if you're a nurse get some form of accounting get some of uh, technology study read get some skills there's a lot on the internet that you can do yourself if you want to uh, become an entrepreneur you know and it gives the best shot in terms of finance the first few years very tough difficult a lot of people will not agree with you they will ridicule you they will laugh at you don't worry you, those those things will only get to you when you have not educated, when you have not built yourself. The better information that you have, nothing will. They don't get to you when they say something because you're equipped, you you are direct, you know you are directed in your actions. So when somebody is talking, you will hear them or you will listen to them, but you you, you stay, you know you are way above what they're saying. They may be seeing all the complexities and the difficulties and the things that don't work, but your mind will see something different. Why? Because you're feeding yourself with different kind of uh, information. You're feeding yourself with different kind of uh, data. And, and and the difference between men is, is what feeds them. You know, when you see human beings, they look the same. Two eyes, the nose is there, the mouth is there. They have all those. But what their mind is processing, that's the difference between human beings. You know, what? Somebody will see this situation and run away. Another person will see that situation and see opportunities. The difference is what has trained them, what has prepared them, you know. So, what is very, so much important? What you're you're preparing yourself with, and entrepreneurship is like that. So that when you have prepared yourself, when you have built yourself, when you have identified yourself, when you know what it will take, you should know or at least project the journey. Know what it will take. A lot of things are predictable now, and and business is one of them. When you don't have this skill set, you know that you're going to fail. And when you have this in, in, in equal measure, you know that it's just a matter of time you're going to succeed. You know, and you have to know what skills you need to get to that stage where you will succeed. If a lot of people don't know that. They just do that and say, oh, you know, it will happen when it will happen. No, it's not like that. There are skill sets, there are information, there are things that you must know. And uh, entrepreneurship is like that. So you should, there are things that you have to study. And, and I said that graphic design is one of it, uh, accounting is one of it, the product that you're working on is one of it, your ability to manage and lead people. And you have to study yourself and know your strength because you only win with your strength. But you prevent collapse, you prevent losses by covering, by taking care of your of your of your weakness. You know, so the things that you're weak in, those are the things that can destroy you. But if you cover the things that you are weak in, the, 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 those things will not mean that you're going to grow. You grow with your strength and you cover your weakness so that you don't you don't destroy what you have gone or what you have developed. And so what are the things that you think you don't know? What advantage do you have? What are the things that you think that you don't have that you have to at least know? Because you have to know a lot if you're an entrepreneur. If I'm a footballer and I want to play football, I don't have to know much. You just learn my football. But if I'm, I'm the one building the football team, owning the football team, I have to know more than football. I have to know how to manage the team. I have to know how to get money and pay them. I have to know how to pay taxes. I have to know how to pay the other things that they have to pay. I have to know, I have to track the money. I have to know who has to pay me. If I'm, if I work in a radio station as a DJ, I just work as a DJ. So I just have to study the DJ, DJ, DJ thing. But if I have a media company, which is running uh, a radio station, the skill set is different. Now I have to think broader. You know, I have to think more than the, the just a media uh, DJ. That's why 
a DJ can DJ all, but he cannot start a radio station because the skill set to start his radio station is different from a skill set to DJ or to host morning show. You know, the skill set to start a TV station is different from the one that I've come there to to announce or to to you know the news. It's a different thing. It's a different thing. So there is the that the, the skill set, the education of the entrepreneur is the education that has to help you to build a system a structure and it's not just one dimensional education it's multi-dimensional and what we're saying is that they are not coming from the school so you have to build them yourself you have to build them yourself you have to build them yourself so thank you very much for watching my name is sobin Dakon. thank you for watching and if you have a son if you have a daughter uh, who has interest in building something what they need is encouragement what they need is knowledge what they need is information the rest leave them you have no idea what they will become it's a different time it's a different season technology has improved even if we didn't make them internet has brought a lot of changes and it has caused a lot of disruptions and so business is is what a lot of these young people can do so leave them to go and try Leave them to go and try. Let them go and try. If they break something, support them. Give them encouragement, but let them go. If they have, if, have, if you have a son who is expressing that, let him go. If you have a daughter, encourage them to go. It's not. Don't say that. What did we send you to school? If you know that you are going to do business, what did we send you to school? What did you? <laughs> How about those who have been at home for five years without jobs? How about that? Maybe they have even tried to look for jobs. They didn't. They didn't still not have it and yet they have some kind of skill sets that they can start something help them to educate help them to read more help them to study more and build something on their on their talent you never know you have no idea that daughter that son who's fidgeting with something who's trying to sell something who's trying to convince people to be part of it who is always at home building something telling his friends i'm building this and that. it's a talent talent you have no idea that where that talent can lead that son if you encourage them what they need is a proper information as to what it takes to build that which they're building and um, it takes different kind of information uh, to build that it's not the one that they gave them in classroom that one prepared them to look for a job that one prepared them to wait for somebody now this one they have to go they have to have that willingness the ability to overcome position build their own momentum build their own force that ability they have to build it themselves and they have to keep going they have to keep going and, and they have to have the skill set to still be honest when things don't even work and still be hopeful and 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 look at the future you know and so uh <laughs> the progressive education is a different kind of education they those kind of people read different books listen to different programs watch different things because they always think of what they can do so thank you very much hey black thank you very much for watching thank you you can tell your friends about this thank you